So dear students, in the last section we have studied about elevation in a boiling point. Now let's see the third colligative property, depression in a freezing point. Depression in freezing point. So what exactly this depression in freezing point wants to say? So first of all, let us see what is freezing point. Freezing point of substance is the temperature at which solid and liquid phases of the substance coexist. Okay, freezing point means at that point the substance is coexisting in two states, one solid as well as another liquid. So it is defined the temperature at which solid and liquid phase have the same vapor pressure. This is what guys we have to make sure it has the same vapor pressure. So this is what called a temperature. This is what exactly the liquid solvent. This is the solution. You can see the freezing point of a pure liquid is fixed. Koi bhi liquid hoi, no ek freezing pure liquid has a fixed freezing point. I'm going to write down FP. Okay. Now if a non-volatile solute is added in that pure liquid, it is converted into a solution so thus occurring in the lower of lowering of vapor pressure but obvious no freezing point down thing you say so the freezing point of solution refers that now when we talk about the freezing point of solution we call it as a tf for the solution what is it the temperature at which the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solvent of the solvent in two phases in TWO two phases okay which are the two phases guys liquid and solid liquid and solid liquid solution this liquid is the solution and the solvent solid solvent is same is same ab anne nu jare same aave le you can see a solution and a frozen solvent banne nu you can see in the graph they have a same point and that's why we call it as it's a boiling point since the vapor pressure of the solvent in solution is lowered it becomes equal to the solid solvent at a lower temperature so here the graph is given and this graph shows us there is a difference in the temperature. So look at the graph which is given over here. Let's say this is a point A. Uh, let me take one red bright color. This is a point A. Okay. This point we call it as a B. This point we call it as a A dash. This point we call it as a B dash. And this is the C. Okay. And this is the what the vapor pressure this vapor pressure we call a p and this vapor pressure we call p dash okay this is depression in freezing point now understand that what exactly happened over here so jo hi apne su kehva mage che the curve ab bc and a dash b dash this is a b b c and a dash b dash are the vapor pressure curves this is what the vapor pressure this is vapor pressure graph of solid solvent ice liquid solvent water and the soluble and the solution containing non-volatile solute what is that the pure solvent is the temperature according to the boiling point we call it as a t dot zero f okay t naught f is denoted for the boiling point of a liquid pure solvent and that of the solution is the temperature to a point a dash you can see at this point what is their freezing point we call it as a t1 okay we can call it as a tf we call it as a tf so the lowering of vapor pressure is considered as delta tf depression in a freezing point can we consider over here the magnitude of delta Tf is dependent, determined by the lowering of vapor pressure. Guys, lowering of vapor pressure directly proportional to the mole fraction of solute. It means that if we have read delta Tf, then T0F value is always 
એટલે વધારે માઇનસ ટીએફ કરવાનું તો વેન એવર ધ સોલ્યુશન કમ્સ ઇન ધ પ્રીવિયસ સેક્શન વી સે ધેટ ધ બોઇલિંગ પોઈન્ટ ઓફ સોલ્યુશન વોઝ લેસ ઓકે તો હિયર ધ સેમ થિંગ હેપન ઓવર હિયર સો વોટ એક્ઝેક્ટલી હેપન એટ અ પોઈન્ટ બી ધીસ ઇઝ ધ પોઈન્ટ વેર ધ ટેમ્પરેચર ટી ઝીરો એફ ટી ઝીરો એફ ઇઝ અ બોઇલિંગ પોઈન્ટ ઓફ અ પ્યોર લિક્વિડ પ્યોર સોલ્વેન્ટ સો ધ પ્યોર સોલ્વેન્ટ ઇઝ ધીસ ધીસ ઇઝ બોઇલિંગ ફ્રીઝિંગ પોઈન્ટ ઓફ અ પ્યોર સોલ્યુશન ધ સોલ્યુશન ઇઝ ધીસ ધ સોલ્યુશન હેઝ લોઅર ફ્રીઝિંગ પોઈન્ટ એન્ડ ધ પ્યોર સોલ્વેન્ટ હેઝ અ હાયર ફ્રીઝિંગ પોઈન્ટ so that makes a difference and this is what it comes over here so guys this is what we have to understand and as we know k delta tf is directly proportional to delta p delta p means what relative lowering sorry lowering of vapor pressure and lowering of vapor pressure is already aware k lowering of vapor pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction mole fraction of what okay mole fraction of solute it's a mole fraction of solute so i can write down like this so delta tf can be written as directly proportional to xb okay now to remove this again the same one what we will do here we can write down here delta tf is directly proportional to xb so delta tf to remove this proportionality let's put one this now what is this this is nothing but it's a k k is a constant mole fraction of b is n upon a a plus n b okay total number of moles so what can i do i can write down here that number of moles is very 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 less than na so the, in the previous one nb is neglected okay so we are neglecting nb so what i get i get delta tf is equals to k nb upon na okay guys so this is what happened but let us understand this number of moles is what what is number of moles already we know okay, what is number of moles so number of moles are very important so number of moles ni formula praman lakhe so wb upon wa wb wb upon mb divided by W A upon M A. So arranging this two, I get something like this. And as we know, as we know, okay, this is the one. This is W B upon M B into W A. into ma and this is whole is nothing but it's a molality it's a molality in 1 kg of solute solvent so therefore k ma into m now in both of them are constant so instead of that we'll write down kf so the formula comes delta tf is equals to kf into m so dear students this is what we got it this is the one which i have shown you it's not in the prod, uh, as a part of your examination but yes this is important for dilute solution we can directly write down this and where my kf is nothing but it's a freezing point depression it's a freezing uh, <clears throat> kf is a freezing point depression constant freezing point depression constant and also known as molar depression constant or we call it as a molar depression constant or you can write down as a chiroscopic chiroscopic constant what can be write down as a chi cryoscopic not chiroscopic cryoscopic constant so this is what we have to do the same thing when we write down molality in 1000 and ml then what i will get i can find it out the formula to my find find it out the formula to calculate molar mass of solute how can we do let's see in the previous one the same kind of thing instead of taking kf dtb kb we're writing this one so delta tf 
इज इक्वल टू के एफ मोलालिटी मतलब क्या तो के डब्ल्यू बी अपॉन एम बी इन टू डब्ल्यू ए ओके नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी राइट डाउन इन थाउजेंड वाई थाउजेंड बिकॉज दिस विल बी वी टेक इट इन ग्राम वेन वी टेक दिस इज इन ग्राम वी हैव टू राइट डाउन इन थाउजेंड सो योर फॉर्मूला फॉर मोलिकुलर फाइंडिंग मोलिकुलर मास विल बी लाइक दिस एंड गाइज यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन इजिली कैलक्यूलेट molecular mass of a substance okay solute so kf already we know wb is equals to mass of solute mass of solute wa is equals to mass of solvent very important to know and delta tf is depression in freezing point depression in freezing point okay so using this formula use using this data you can easily score or you can easily calculate what is the molecular mass of solute so this is the another property why is this different and what is important in this property so okay what does it make then uh determination of molecular formula and why does it useful the some practical applications of depression of freezing point is it used as an antifreeze solution in foreign countries what is antifreeze solution it contains water and ethyl alcohol okay it's a ethylene glycol not ethyl alcohol ethylene glycol a solution of ethylene glycol and water in a radiator what exactly happened this solution has a freezing point lower than 0 it means that in a foreign countries the temperature is oftenly goes to the minus degree celsius in that condition if you just put water in an area it is going to freeze out and that's why the cooling system okay what happened that with the proper ratio the freezing point can be lowered to a desired extent by changing the concentration okay and that's why they use this and then with a proper ratio it is possible to protect automotive cooling system to the temperature up to minus 45 degrees celsius would you believe it that's what it can do and secondly by the to the clearing the ice from the roads of hills salts such as nacl and cacl2 are scattered on icy roads at a high altitudes this helps in melting the ice as long as the outdoor temperature is above the lowest freezing point barabar to outdoor nu je temperature aisu hoy to ke lowest freezing temperature karta bhi ochu hoy एट शू करे ए स्टार्ट करे सोल्ट वॉटर मिक्सचर डेवलप करे और ए सोल्ट वॉटर मिक्सचर लीधे दैट केन गेट डायल्यूटेड ओके एन केन गेट रीड ऑफ द वन सो गाइज दिस इज वॉट ऑल अबाउट फॉर टूडे यू कैन डू सम न्यूमेरिकल्स फ्रॉम द टेक्स बुक एक्सरसाइज एंड इंटेक्स क्वेश्चन एंड इन द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन वी विल कम्प्लीट दिस चैप्टर बाय कम्प्लीटिंग इट विद ऑस्मोसिस एंड ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर एंड अलॉन्ग विद अंट ऑफ फैक्टर सो नेक्स्ट सेक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी लॉन्गर वन दिस इज द शॉर्टेस्ट ऑफ ऑल why because i want you to focus on the one single single la qualitative property which can help you to learn more thank you have a nice time